this score I'm about to deliver is a paddle up to Neil Moore in 22 rivers. I am the river, but I am lonely. Where are the people? Where is creation? A young man set off in a red canoe to find out, to paddle for the people and all creation. In this great nation, from sea to shining sea, stroke to the east, stroke to the west, leaving the waters of the big whales, following inland watery trails. He started up the big river Woody Guthrie sang about. Oh, it's always we've rambled this river, you and I. All along your green valley, I will work until I die. I see windsurfers and ocean-going freighters, but where are the salmon and those who followed the fish? The First Nation peoples traded up and down the coast and the big rivers of the west, and their dugout canoes carved from western red cedar, and the Mississippian people carved theirs from cinnamon cypress and did the same up and down the meandering muddy waters of the great heart of this continent. Connecting big bony mountain ranges on either side and the salty sweet Gulf of Mexico in her belly, the people of the North Woods stripped giant birches of their skin and crafted the sleekest, fastest, and finest vessels ever. European sailors entering the St. Lawrence Seaway were amazed at how nimble the birch bark canoes scooted over the water and now in a red canoe named Shannon Derived from that same tradition, a young man starts chopping his paddle left and right, back and forth, north and south and east and west, stroke to the one that you love best, stroking with unrefined but dedicated determination and rhythm and swirls up and down the same rivers. And now we paddle for the people. Now we paddle for creation. The loneliness of the long-distance paddler, the cold nights and hot days, the waking up by first light to pack up and push off, sometimes in blistering sun and deadly drought, sometimes in flood, days of hard winds and hard rains, of big rivers and shallow rocky rivers, whirlpools tugging at your paddle, eddies spinning you around and around, Boils erupting and discharging, big rolling waves, crashing waves, haystacking waves, rogue waves, very fitting indeed to come in backwards. Shannon Canoe turning to look back on the last 22 months and remember the distance and all of the portage steps and paddle strokes along the way, all the long nights and lonely days, the little triumphs, the setbacks and challenges the tearful circumstances, the joys and letdowns, the agony and the ecstasy, the brilliant enlightenments, the humbling winds and storms, your body in pain, but your spirit endured, enchanted, enlightened, exalted. You laugh out loud, all things brought to comic balance on these islands, in these waters that connect us all, so close and yet so far, a contrail, illuminated baby yellow for a long moment, then extinguished. And now a faint reddish, lavender, bluish seems to streak the cheeks of the sky from where the sun disappeared not long ago. Tears in your eye. Are they from the wind? Are they from the cold? Are they from the brilliance? Are they from the high lonesomeness? Are they from the bounty, the beauty? From the pain? Are they from the absurdity? You have no choice but giggle and then whoop, whoop. No one hears except the birds and the fish. A bar bull shark bumps your canoe in the Mississippi Sound. A pond of dolphins surface and seem to smile. You are lonely but not alone. Sunburned and chilled to the bone. A grizzly wanders through your rocky mountain camp. A gator surfaces and swells the waters of Lake Pontchartrain and then swishes away. A snowy owl watches from a Hudson River fir. A loon cries and then dives. As Lady Liberty rises, tears in your eye. And now we paddle for the people. 
all creation. Paddling up and out of the Chinook oyster bays at the foot of ferny evergreen coastal ranges, Oregon, Washington, and to the rugged Bitterroot, Idaho, salty wind blowing over the Camas prairies, across the Great Divide into wolf spruces and wild aspens and pines, box elder and willows. Smoky vanilla ponderosa blushing in the sun, the backbone and basins of the west to descend through the open antelope plains of Montana, the lonely Dakota grasslands, the cliff swallows of Nebraska, the blackbirds of Iowa, and paddlefish of Kansas into the fecund forests of the muddy heart of a continent. A squirrel could leap across the country's canopy without touching ground the sturgeon of Missouri and white pelicans of the Middle Mist, the egrets of Illinois, and down, down, down into the gut of America where the green, oh, green, Ohio River flows in from the east and swells the muddy Mississippi to fullness. And now together, joined as one, they swirl southward and ever larger muddy meanders, gulping great, gobs of bottomland hardwood forests and endless wetlands thriving with vine color covered cottonwoods sweet gums oaks and sycamores the wild turkey of tennessee the lightning bugs of kentucky and bald eagles of arkansas the flooded tupelo gum swamps falling away to endless estuary marshlands the map turtles of Mississippi and the see-through river shrimp of La Lucienne, the osprey of Alabama, the foxes of Indiana and the cicadas of Ohio, and over the long loopy line, the ridges of Allegheny, the snapping turtles of Pennsylvania, through Chautauqua and over the Appalachian Divide, where the glacier-carved valleys bounded by rolling moss-covered mountains and dark cliffy ravines, erupting with maples and hickories, oaks and ashes and white pines, the snowy owl of New York, the long lonesome cry of the loon before she dies, bittersweet in your ear as Lady Liberty rises <clears throat> and raises her torch over the sparky, brilliant, glistening waves. We're all connected along this trail. The waters and the land make us one. The only dividing line appears on maps, and now we paddle for the people, for all creation. I don't know what got in your mind when you dreamed up this Quixotic Odyssey. Surely a sane man would have found it an oddity and made the same route by car, but I do know the pull of the heartstrings and the yearning and the call the river yanks deep within us the crusty cavern of our inner beings and pulls us up and out of bed, off the couch, out of the house and over the riverbank. The flow of human blood runs deep and broad. If rivers flow there, as Langston Hughes once said, then surely canoes as well. Humans have been carving canoes for at least 8,000 years. For eight millennium, we have applied carving tools and fire to logs and push these sculpted wonders into the water, heavy on land, but light as a leaf when they float. The magic of fluid motion, all things brought out of the commotion, all things brought together, brought to harmony, even, even cold steel bridges and bellowing smokestacks are made beautiful in their long sinewy reflections. The river makes mad rampages and floods homes and lands, but also replenishes the wetlands and rejuvenates the forest. Free fertilizer for the fields of the farmer who fears silt and sedimentation. We build levees ever higher, but we find freedom on the other side of the levee. Where is the ivory bill? And where is the passenger pigeon? 22 species declared extinct in 2021. The Bachman's Warbler, last seen in 1988. The Bridled White Eye, last seen in 1983. The Flat P 
pig toe mussel, last seen in 1984. The green blossom pearly mussel, last seen in 1982. The ivory bill woodpecker, last seen in 1944. Eight freshwater mussels, two fish, and 11 birds. The misery of accepting the loss, the call to retreat into the wild places for the sanctuary of the many, the long landscapes, the remote mountains and big river islands, over the muddy edges into the remaining wetlands and floodplain forests, the cougars and black bears, the otters and osprey all need or feed on the fungi, the microbiota, the free-flowing plankton soup, the monarchs, the yellow, orange, black, and white kind that flutter three generations from the shores of the Great Lakes to the mountains of Mexico. Will they survive next year, filled with fear as their numbers flutter and fall in white spots and flop around like ashes from the fire, mass murders of their numbers? Where will it all end? And now we paddle for the people and for all creation. One more paddle for the people. Paddling for the people, paddling for the town. Paddling for polluted communities, struggling for their lost ground, for pickers and planters who try to feed the world, for the truckers and towboat pilots, the dock workers and stevedores, the warehousers and distributors, milkers and meat packers, the furniture builders and cheese makers, the assembly lines and food lines, plastic workers, coal shovelers, uranium miners, loggers and lumbermen, librarians and nurses, teachers and wilders, for the granaries and roaring factories, factories and throbbing refineries, the overcrowded prisons and hospitals and schools, face masks and throbbing hearts, Families torn apart, motherless children, kids growing up without fathers, families torn apart by war, youngsters seeking a better life, parents seeking freedom of thought, of prayer, of economy, of transformation, hungry children, broken families. All humans crave freedom, but what does that mean? Where is that to be found? We find it over the levee, down the river and through the woods, in the canyons and deserts, the grasslands, the seashores, and the mountain ranges of the great fertile belly of North America. Mother Earth accepts all, all Euro-Asians and Africans, all Oceania, all the Americas, North and South, all those grounded and those at sea, all the lands and all the islands in between, the first peoples, the last peoples, all nations, colors, codes, and creeds, all those descended from the hunter-gatherers and still not found the path, you show the way, the light shining, the glowing torch held high in the foamy, effervescent Milky Way, in the pathway in between and through the storms of rippling, colorful, creative pools deep in each other's eyes. We all breathe the same air and drink the same water, we all consume and share, Mother Earth provides, but how long, will she, how long will she sustain all her children multiplying and consuming and burning? We are one species out of five million and counting. We have one voice, one vote, one purpose, all connected. Each and every one is integral to the whole as a drop of water to the ocean, the oilmen and amoebas, all colors, turn petroleum black. The river turns all things brown. Creator pinches off a piece of mud and breathes life into the dust. Lady Liberty shining through the faces of all the people and places along the trail on hog farmers and chicken farmers, maids and masons, a country made of countries. Who will build your houses and who will answer your phones and who will tend your sick? And who will keep your yards? And who will write your books? And who will sing your songs? And who will drive your buses? And who will cook your food? And who will cut your corn and harvest your hay and raise your greens? Who will teach your children? Who will tend your kids and nurture and nanny your infants? And where will the children play? Not tomorrow, but today. 
We all need that place to walk in the woods, that place over the banks of the river where busy time stops with a shiver, the balance of life expressed in every paddle stroke, starboard and port, C stroke and J stroke, the drawing and ruddering, fluttering on the winds of white spotted, orange and black, butterfly over beaver and muscle trails, power strokes up through the rapids, through funnels of joyful white water, bliss cut into an eddy behind a rock, take a pause and a steamy breath and start forward again, flashing like silver salmon, leaping upwards with undefinable yet undeniable motivation and purpose, the symmetry of swirling mushroom ripples revolving behind your every reach and pull as we heart, soul time, arrows overflow the quiver to remember and deliver that pathway, that portal to the infinite, the universe. And now Lady Liberty rises over the ever reaching curved horizon to meet you and greet you as you swing your paddle left and right, clean and bright, flashing like silver to blaze with brilliance the songs and stories of 22 rivers across 22 states in 22 months. The soul song of a continent carried in a simple two-person canoe, ferried along <clears throat> in forever flashing, splashing, golden burning bright, swirls and flow, and now we paddle for the people and all creation.